Roll it up, light it up, blaze it up, blaze it up. It's good for the brain. Precious alive, drive you insane. Roll it up, light it up, blaze it up. Blaze it up. How did it come to about uh, this captivation of the music to where you guys took it upon yourself to say, all right, we're going to form our own thing and and take it to the next level. Yeah, but you see, it, it was the likes of no plan, you know, because sure. as Pipe them say, you know, Rasta man, you know, make no plan, because uh -huh. your plan got wiped out. But what happened was a transition. Okay. Because what we started to do when we originally start an inner circle as the band start then, because mm -hmm. right surely name was the Memphis Underground. <laughs> yeah. we, used to, we used to back up artists. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, as I say, as I mentioned, Michael Cooper, and you don't have to give Cooper prop because yeah. Cooper, Cooper was the most musical trained man around it, us. The greatest thing is, one would say, is organization. Mm -hmm. And I guess we had that kind of organization where I could go to a Cooper okay. and go to this man and say, let us come together mm. to do something. Okay. You understand? Mm. And then it was just youths and youths. The amount of people in the beginning that went through, I can't remember half of them. Mm. Because even Jamusa brother, Carnell, mm -hmm. used to sing one time for a few months or as, as half a year, I don't remember. That man used to, it's just people coming in and out because we never really have playing or we never really have no name as such. Right. But when I think Cooper, it would get in Cooper to come in amongst us, kind of more galvanize us in a more like a I wouldn't say professional way, but a better right. sounding way and a better way. Yeah, because he knew, he knew what music was. Yes. And literally, yeah. what had happened to that is that after you're playing top 40 band music for different functions all around right. Jamaica, you start to build up a, a little reputation because yeah. people say, all right, get the band ever play. You have yeah. Fab Five, you have In Crowd. You have, right. Those are the days of band when people right. would hire a band and a DJ. Mm. But the DJ would play when the band take intermission, not the, <laughs> the, the, the DJ play and the band take the intermission. But it, it, it happened that Jamaica was, was on fire with band music, mm. which is a great thing because on any given night you had live music playing somewhere. Yes. So the people ears got a tune to mm -hmm. live music and, and, and what the band... Especially on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, what the band world was Can doing there. You have stables up there with slides. Oh, Lord, along that whole red strip. Red strip. Light parks. Yeah, man. You know, you have, have um, what's name? Jackie Japs name. That the one band of band. Jacob used to sing around again. Something. Oh, rotation. Rotation. Oh, so much. A million bands. <laughs> so, yeah, those Sunday, things... Sunday, we used to go bone mutt and listen to scatter lights every Sunday. Jajeri and Brivet yeah. and... Yeah. Carlos Malcolm, Scatterlite, Kiss Chin, Kiss Chin Virtues, Granville Will, you could go on and on. Mm. Charles and the Teddy Boys. <laughs> yeah, you go. Know, <laughs> Versailing into the Tomorrow's Children with right. Pluto and them people. Yeah. Jackie Me Two, I used to call them Jackie Me Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but what was good about that, you had, you had a Byron Lee who was like the road band more, uh -huh. and you had like a Scatterlites who was playing more original, right. their own creation. Yes, that's a good point. That's a good point. So what it showed to you is that they can make different music, but right. still, you're still blinded by your want to work every weekend, so you're playing regular music. As I said, we got fallen into the backing band thing, right. where mm -hmm. we start back up D Brown, back up a lot of artists, mm -hmm. and even even politically, we, we start went on the road with Michael Mann with Bandwagon and start back up Bob Marley. That's right. how we get to play. A lot of things, even something, the original story top is we play that. We play that. And they never get credited and no, yeah, album, no big thing in a state. Yeah. But let's tell you, let's say, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, that's but, true. We play. But that's how we met Bob Marley and Bonnie Wheelers and Peter yeah. Touch. 1971, PNP bandwagon throughout the whole island, okay. bringing in Michael Mann. A lot of man say about who never involved with politics and who never with politics, but that's the truth cannot run away from the truth. No, I right. was there. This is not something where yeah. half of these proponents of reggae and them and write how much book and how's oh, a big yeah. talk. We was there. Oh, yeah. We was all there. Right. Can call the biggest Junior money. Junior Biles, Ken yeah. Boat, Clancy Eccles, there you go. Max Bob. Romeo let the power fall on I. It's big politics, John. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what, what Michael Manley used to hold up a rod and hold up Bob Marley and, and said, this rod was given to me by his imperial majesty, I'll play tear down. That's not no lie, I'm telling you. Bring the man who dispute that and say that's a lie. That's God Almighty <laughs> truth, but, I'm telling you. But what it did, it galvanized the people and music. Okay. Yeah. You understand? Because Bandwagon was supposed to be 
a way for the people to hear music. It was not supposed to be a political mm -hmm. platform, but it was done on a political yeah. platform. I remember one of the first few shows Michael Manley walk out. And the people in there and Mike say, well, I know it's the music you come to hear. You come to hear Bob Marley, you come to hear Ken. And then all them songs, them political songs that Clancy used to sing, because at least I would say if nobody else was there for politics, Clancy was there for politics. Mm -hmm. You know, Adam yeah. Tuna, King Fierro, yeah. Army was jounded, mm -hmm. King Fierro, I still remember the song. Because Every night he was a Beat play Down Babylon was yeah. not a politics tune. Yeah. It was about the police harassment right. of young people in right. Jamaica. Right. So do not buy a seminar like them kind of Babylon. So you know, like them wicked, kind of wicked men. He, he, he was not singing up, but it, it turned, yeah. you know, politics are a way to turn.